Hi and thank you for tuning in. My name is Fred Adams from Stencil Tech Concrete and in this video we're going to be demonstrating to you the process of stencil concrete. Any good decorative concrete installation always starts with setting your falls and levels. On this project in particular, the falls were quite tricky in front of the garage as the falls were not as substantial as we would typically like. So extra care and attention had to be taken to ensure the falls were coming away. When screening concrete, always be sure to have a relatively experienced rake behind you as if you've got too much material that you're trying to screed back at a time, it makes it very difficult to get any sort of precise line. A great tip whenever you're screening concrete is to take as much time and care as possible ensuring that you've set your screed lines and your formwork to the correct heights and levels as giving yourself a guide to work to will help to increase the accuracy of your screening especially if you're a beginner new to screening giving yourself as much of a chance to have something to work to it'll give you a best chance of getting the best result. We're now at the stage where it's time to start troweling and flattening the surface of the concrete. It is always good practice to work through the different types of trowels, starting with your magnesium trowels and then using your steel floats. Typically, because we're using a decorative concrete system, you don't have the necessary luxuries that would allow you to really wait the last minute to be able to use a different trowel, so being able to get on the surface quick Use whatever trowel you can to get it smooth and precise, ready to take those stencils on the colour surface out of them. Also going around the outside perimeters with your edges is also good practice to so ensure you've got a crisp, nice line to work to. It's now time to apply your stencils. Now with over 30 variations of patterns available, your only limitation is your own imagination. But it's always good practice to do the most fiddly areas first, like your rosettes, like your borders, especially curves. Get those in precise, take your time to get those right before you put your main stencil design in place. Always be sure to trowel them just into the surface of the concrete, not too deep, as this can cause issues later on when removing those stencils, as it can cause the grout line to chip. So always just put them in just enough, not too much. At the same time, always keep your eye open for any areas that may be not quite stuck down to the surface of the concrete. It's now time to apply the colour surface hardener, one of our 30 variations available. You dry shake it onto the surface, then you trowel it smooth, then it's time to apply your secondary colours if necessary, or you just go straight ahead and apply your second coat of colour, and on that layer you put your textures. Now in a lot of cases you'll get a customer that will want a different colour border or a different colour around the rosette features like you can see going on in this video now. There's a couple of options here where we can colour it the same day if the concrete allows you to do so, or we can actually come back the following day or when it comes time to seal the surface of the concrete and apply the different colour borders or feature areas at that stage. But once the texture is achieved it's time to remove the stencils. Now because of the winter months we were working on this video we had to wait a little bit longer for the concrete to cure and set as if you pull out the stencils too early it can actually damage the joints and if you pull it out too late of course leaving it in overnight would be an instance the, the issue that would have been here. We always recommend coming back late in that evening, especially if the temperatures are still hovering around double figures. Come back later that evening or night and remove the stencils at that stage. That will ensure a beautiful crisp joint, a stunning clear cut route line that will look lovely. So the longer you leave those stencils in, the better. As this installation was installed during the winter months, we had to ensure that we had a dry surface to apply our sealer. 
so we like to use a gas burner to force dry the surface, ensuring that there's no moisture on the surface, which is going to greatly increase the adhesion onto the surface with our sealer and also reduce the risk of whitening on the surface. We typically recommend two coats of acrylic based resin sealer. This will ensure protection from five years on residential, two years on commercial. A good quality resin sealer is always recommended. A sealer like Stencil Tech's Universal Sealer, which there will be a description below where you can order this product for your own driveway or installation. But two coats of this sealer will ensure protection against salt damage, UV rays, and also oil stains will wipe right off. So please be sure of any new installation to apply plenty of this on the surface generously as it will protect against a multitude of different contaminants. And here you have it, a beautiful decorative concrete installation that will take over 28 tons in weight, will never be prone to weeds or delamination, sinking or other associated issues that are most commonly known with block paving. Now not only is it a strong and very durable surface, but the amount of options in colours and design is limitless, so your only limitation is your own imagination. Now please keep in mind guys that we are professionals of what we do and this isn't always a DIY system. Though on smaller areas it is possible to have a test run and try it yourself on any big installations. It's always good to use a qualified professional as it is not a cheap product to install. And as we all know as soon as concrete comes at the back of the truck it is set in and you've only got limited time to be able to do it. Now, we are going to be running training courses in the new year, but what we're predominantly pushing for 2024 is our new franchise opportunities. So you can actually become a Stencil Tech installer yourself, use the brand, and actually be a part of the Stencil Tech team and family. So if this is of interest to you, be sure to get in contact, leave us your information, and we'll send you out our information pack. If you're in the market for a decorative concrete installation, be sure to visit our website www.stencil-tech.co.uk and one of our colleagues will get in contact to try and help you with the best option for your driveway or patio solution. But thank you for getting through the video guys and we appreciate all the help and support of growing our Facebook page and YouTube channel and be sure to like and follow our posts and videos and whenever you can please be sure to share our videos. Thank you very much.